Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. Back in our now updated Antics Core command line only at the moment distro. I've updated the kernel. I've installed my firmware. I'm ready to throw on the packages that most people think of when they think of using an operating system. The GUI environment, the X server. Right now sound doesn't even work on this computer, on this install. So what we're going to do is, uh, I now will post a list of things that I'm going to install today in the show, in the notes. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install several things to get a working X environment up. I'm going to use XFCE. Uh, if you're using the testing repos, you're going to get 4.10. If you're using the Debian stable repos, you're going to get 4.8. Um, but I'm going to walk you through a few things that you need to know up front. One, to get... Um, you're, you're going to want to get your X server running. You're going to want your sound card support. And you're going to need your, your display manager and your desktop environment. Now, I'm going to give you code in your system that you can do to install all this. You can copy and paste it into your own system if possible, or you can just type it. But um, you can install everything at once, or you can install. I'm going to install just the bits to get X working, and then I will be able to have uh, I will be able to have a uh, be able to do the rest from the uh, cut and paste from the command line. So we're uh, from the terminal. So we're going to say for super user, I'm going to say apt get update. Always update your repos. You never know when someone's going to update something. I'm going to install, I'm going to consult my notes here. I'm going to install, let's put this down here where I can see it. App get install, apt get install x server x org x11 server utils x server utils x font space x11 utils now you can look up each individual package if you want to see what what they do. There's various little bits and pieces that, e that, that each one of these packages does. xserver.xorg is your main uh, main xorg with all your video drivers and mouse drivers and things like that. x11.xserver.utils, the main thing you need out of that is um, it's an authentication agent uh, for ICE authority. I don't really understand what that means I know that when if you go in a X that XFCE 4.10 uses it, and if you don't have it installed, then you can't log out of of XFCE. Uh, X fonts base gives you some basic X fonts. X11 utils install some other basic X utils that things expect to have. Now Light DM is is going to be your login screen. Antics the full Antics uses Slim. Um, I'm going to use Light DM just because um, it works fairly well out of the box with XFCE. And I'm going to install the LightDM GTKA greeter. That's going to be the actual login screen. And then XFCE4 and XFCE4 and XFCE4 goodies. Now this is going to install all kinds of bits and pieces like the terminal, um, the power manager, uh, a few bits and other pieces. And it's going to go to town. It's going to install a bunch of stuff. And it's going to take 299 megs of disk space. It's 107 megs of downloads. I'm going to say go to town. And this part is going to take a while. Now you may get um, uh, messages saying, saying uh, you know, keep this file, don't keep this file. Just accept all the defaults. You should be okay at this stage. Just hit enter and go through it all. I'm going to pause the video, let this thing download and configure, and then we'll uh, be back before we reboot. Okay, I'm back. 
uh, all the packages now download and we're starting the configuration process and this is the kind of message I was talking about uh, you're going to see um, it's going to ask you hey I need to I need to restart some things do you want me to tell you uh, I don't care if they restart the services. There's nothing running on this machine. So I'm going to say, yes, to restart any services during package upgrades without asking. I think the only service even running is Cron, which is a scheduler, um, task scheduler, and there's no tasks scheduled, so it didn't hurt anything anyway. So it's going to keep setting up packages. It's got a lot of packages to go. So I'm going to pause again, and be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. It's blown through everything. Now, you might expect that would take a long time, depending on your internet connection. But once everything was actually downloaded, it only took about three minutes to actually set everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to reboot. And when we come back in, we should be in our new X S X F C E desktop. Now it's going to look pretty plain. That it's going to be there. Good sign, getting the mouse. It's the same user account whether you log in from the console or whether you log in from uh, um, something like LightDM. So use, I'm going to use the default config. That's going to give us panel at the top, panel at the bottom. You can see some icons are missing. There's some icons missing off the menu. There's no icon theme actually installed. Uh, one of the other things that you can install is an icon icon theme package to get all that cleaned up. Uh, we'll go over that in the next video, but for now we have a installed XFCE desktop. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. Stolf and Oracle signing off. Have a great day.